What's up guys, Zero Gravity here. Got my turmeric drink, you know, ready to go to bed. But before I go to bed, I want to share my thoughts about fasting. You hear that a lot, <clears throat> fasting. As I was saying today in Instagram stories, um, there's a lot of words became distorted with the social media, such as fasting, such as eating clean, even work hard is distorted because we both know that work hard is when you <coughs> really push through it's not when you work out in air-conditioned gym with towels anyways it's a different story about fasting i'll start that our <coughs> descendants <coughs> were not meant to eat a lot because they were always starving it was good if they catch some animal once in a week I mean I'm just exaggerating and they will cook it and eat it for the whole team a couple of people gonna get killed while catching him but anyways that was a life back then people used to die from hunger it was normal thing you know because there was no supermarkets there was no food delivery there was no uber eats and stuff like that so our natural body is not used to eat big you know and probably the guy my size has less advantages than you know thin guy who just does warm up and eats a little bit but clean again i'm using this word it's a little bit and according his nutritional standards what do i mean by that we go back to fasting in general fasting can be great it is great eating less is great if your body can function on least amount of nutrition and function having low body fat at the same time have muscles has stamina then you're a winner the goal is to uh, be less dependent on factors and that's actually part of my training philosophy we only need floor under our uh, legs to get a good workout so how do people usually uh, do fasting? Most, trust me, most people uh, treat fasting as something random. They use word fasting to make them feel better because maybe the night before they overate and they say, I'm going to fast just like that. Because of course you don't feel hungry. You ate the night before you're going to fast. Sure. You're going to call it fasting. That removes guilt from you a lot of words remove guilt from you guys and in order to be closer to your own goal you have to be honest with yourself to call the words their own names sometimes people are stressed out they're fasting too they call it fasting uh, you go to your Instagram you put hashtag fasting you will see so much bullshit information in there a lot of that got overrated commercial so how would i do fasting number one i would have to have a serious goal on fasting why do i do fasting you know there's different reasons you read different sources you know sometimes you want to clean your body you know clean up your system sometimes maybe that would, could be a good start for the next nutritional plan that you set. you want to take one day off clean it all up and start a new diet but if you're a healthy athlete if your nutrition is pretty tuned this is what I would do so imagine you're training right so you're working out you're spending that glycogen which I always talk about on your muscles you're spending those calories on the cardiovascular training that's the most calorie burning you know and you need to compensate those calories that's why you eat and if you eat right you eat good amounts of food clean food <laughs> clean food uh, the food nutritionally rich food according to your goals and you want to do fasting so here's how you balance it you know i mentioned a workout right so strong workout you train hard you know for how many days in a row you train let's say three for example if you're an experienced athlete and then you reserve three next days 
for the one, one day of fasting and two days preparation to it. Preparation and a cool offer, cool down, uh, how does it called anyways. So you prepare for it while you take a day off from training, no training at all, quiet. It's better if you are not doing anything active this time, you know. Also, I suggest, assume, I suggest to drink a lot of water so you better stay home because you're gonna pee a lot. So you take one day before fasting, not changing any nutrition, no training, relax. Then the day after fasting, drink a lot of water. Make sure your water is uh, full of electrolytes, you know, pee a lot, <laughs> which is obvious. Then the day after, you know, when you fasted for 24 hours, you are in deficit calories, a huge deficit of calories. So the day after, you eat, but you don't go to a calorie sur surplus. You just don't work out. So you, those three days, no working out, no working out, will help to smooth the entering fasting and exiting fasting day because it will not require you to uh, eat more in order to recover more. It will not make your sugar drop down because you're not gonna train heavy. So, and it will make you feel better. And then slowly day by day, training, recovering, balancing. That would be a very basic fasting in my opinion. Now about other fastings that are more than one day, more than two days and all of that stuff. This is extremely medical responsibility. What do I mean by that? That means if you go for that kind of craziness, you know, we are considering or health safety here, then you have to have your medical specialist actually monitoring this and telling you exactly what you need to do and why you need to do that. And you need to understand all that and accept. So that's why. And the rest of fasting, again, it's just a commercial world. So don't try to take it seriously. Just understand what fasting is. Have a good night.